Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are flipping through the second half of 2020 in my Aura Still Inserts Planner. Um, yeah, so we're starting from July. Just going straight into it. The, I will link in the cards whenever, wherever. They'll be in the cards available the first half of the year, which is January 2 through June, and we're doing July through December. Yes, let's get into it. This is July, so I actually did all the way up to June 30th in my last flip because the 30th is when I submitted my thesis, and so we're starting here again. This was a Scribble Prints Co Kit um, for the first of for the fourth of July, and I just use it as sort of like a, a summary kit. It's very American still, but I just really loved the way this art came out. It was like um, an exclusive custom I did for SPC, and I want to use it. So <laughs> it ended up being the perfect week because it was sort of celebrating submitting my PhD thesis. So what else happened this week? Um, Kurt, my I like putting the Animal Crossing birthdays in my planner. And Kurt was a villager then. I He doesn't live in my village anymore, so it's sad, but that was his birthday. Um, Animal Crossing, I think, got an update for diving, or I did some diving. I played some Warcraft randomly on that first day after my thesis. And technically, I had this pre-planned um, that my candidature ended on the 5th. So technically, if I hadn't gotten my thesis in before this date, it would I, I could still finish and pass, but it wouldn't have been considered like fairly like official in my university's eyes because I want to to get it in on the fourth year. So I got it in in time. So that's awesome. And we'll binge watching. The 100, we haven't really watched the last season, so no spoilers, but we kind of like lost steam on the 100. But we'll, we'll um, pick up season 4 and watch through season 6 this week. Then the next week is um, the Gamer Kit that was also exclusive for SBC that I drew. And I used the Rainbow Foil, Rainbow and Hollow, and some Black Prism as well. This is for my dad's birthday, so that was on the 8th, and he's a total gamer person, a uh, total gamer, so I use this kit for him. And what else? It was my birth, dad's birthday, I did some drawing. Oh yeah, um, story, I finally got Story of Seasons, um, Friends of Mineral Town, so I was playing that. Which a little bit of One Piece, which we also gave up again on. We have like hundreds of episodes to catch up on for One Piece, so I don't know about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Just like the post-submission like malaise. So this week was um, this really old strawberry kit from SBC, which I used because this is like the main peak week of strawberries being in season in Finland. And um, they seem like it's actually a big deal here, so you can buy big, big boxes of them. Um, just, they love strawberries, <laughs> especially when they're in season. I use this really beautiful eyelashes bottom washi from Sadie Stickers. And lots of polka dot, polka dot covers and everything. Loved that. And, um, what? I, well, we bought a tiny, tiny watermelon. It was like this big. Like watermelons in Australia are like huge. But this was like a tiny melon, which was very cute. So I put that in there. Listen to the Moulin Rouge soundtrack. Um, Posty confusing me because I had a cloud getting delivered, I think. And I was so... I They didn't actually tell me I needed to pay for their new fee. and But I eventually did. <laughs> This is the one day where I was watching a lot of Witch Pagan Wicca YouTube. I don't know why, but I was loving looking at their, um, like how they made their grimoires and books of shadows. So that was really fun. And I watched Practical Magic this week because it's, it's kind of weird because it's like not, um, it's a very autumn Halloween film, but I was drawing Practical Magic at the time, I believe. So I watched it. Yeah, loved that. Uh, and then it was Mark's birthday, a friend. 
And we started watching sorted food on YouTube. And we watch them every week now. That was really good. So that was that week. I just really soft and pretty. This week I finally used my COVID quarantine kit. <laughs> this is Relax from my shop. This is SBC again. Almost everything I use is SBC, by the way. Um, and I used this foil pack, these overlays um, from Caress Press, and then I use like Sticky Essentials bows down here. And yeah, this is like my quintessential stay-at-home quarantine kit that I finally got to use. And um, yeah, I think it turned out really pretty. <sighs> what is that to say about this week? Um, oh, my clouds finally arrived <laughs> because, yeah, that was when I got my first lavender and my gray one because I finally paid posty. <laughs> it's my friend Steph's birthday. It rained all day this day, which was really nice because it had been so freaking hot um, all of, like, June when I was trying to finish um, my thesis. I was just, like, sweating the whole time. Uh, late night YouTube documentaries. I've watched quite a few documentaries on YouTube since I finished. Like just weird ones, like you know, those weird 40 minute ones from old TV that people have put up on YouTube. Um, oh yeah, I got some my happy mail in from the US and that's when I got this um, name plug from Andrea as a joke. <laughs> that, you know, once I finished my thesis I'd become full time SBC art ho. So she sent that to me as a joke, so I got put that in there. That was funny. Oh, and then our PlayStation 4 got messed up that day. We had to buy a new hard drive for it. We think it's possibly Far Cry, Far Cry 5 messed it up, but yeah, that was sad. Oh, we watched some happy endings. Yay, I love that. And my friend Carly's birthday. <laughs> Mark's Steph and Carly's birthdays are like all together. That also marks like one year since we were at Disneyland together, which is so sad. It was such a good time. Then this week was um, the Ohana set from SBC that I drew like the Lilo and Stitch um, inspired art. So it's a bit like Hawaii and Lilo and Stitch together with like some space elements. And I use this sparkly hollow and it looks so fun. Ugh, I love it. This week we were playing Life is Strange 2, um, which was good. I think I still prefer Life is Strange 1, though. Uh, I watched Hocus Pocus because I was doing the um, custom set for um, SPC, which came out last year. So I watched Hocus Pocus just to, like, um, situate about what we were going to do for it. Um, watching some more happy endings here. Put in a new PlayStation hard drive and it was working again. Um, I had a good chat with Steph apparently. That's cool. Oh yeah, I tried the summer shred workout videos. I did one and then I was sick all that night. I don't know. I think it was like too much exercise for me after like a year of not half a year of not doing anything. And I was just like super sick that day. I don't know what happened. So that finished. I wasn't going to do more of that. Just too much. Um, and just getting some drawing done. Looks like it. So then this was the start of August. So August started here. I just used these like little monthly stickers from Happy Scrappy at the top to mark because these were just um, endless continuous um, inserts. So this is the first week of August, which is our anniversary week. So the 6th of August, it was 14 years together, which doesn't make any sense to me at all. <laughs> but I used the Netflix and Chill Kit, which has been reformatted um, in the shop from SPC, another exclusive. Um, I saved this from the Valentine's Day release all the way to this um, to use for our anniversary. I'm doing that again in 2021, but with our, like, our new version of Netflix and Chicks, um, Netflix and Chill called Our Song. But anyway, um, I think this turned out super pretty. I loved the, like, the Valentine's heart foil I brought in, these bows and the silver. So, oh yeah, Heidi, we're pretty sure Heidi ate a wasp because the next day we found, like, um, she threw up in the on the balcony and there was like a wasp in it 
So luckily she didn't get actually sick, but we're pretty sure she ate a wasp. <laughs> um, and we had a sausage sizzle, like, what well, we could do, like, it's very Australian. We love sausage sizzles. <laughs> I watched School of Rock that night just while I was drawing, which, ugh, I love School of Rock. I love Jack Black. Um, so up our anniversary, we got pancakes. We got, there was this restaurant in Olu that made really amazing pancakes, which we can't get here in Helsinki, which is super sad. But we got pancakes, and I just remember we laughed a lot that day. That's just what I remember. <laughs> we were watching, uh, re-watching New Girl at this time, which was really good. We had never watched the last season, so we're like, let's just watch the whole show again and get the last season in. We ordered a new frying pan and knife. That's pretty funny. Um, and then it was just super duper hot that day. Oh yeah, Heidi alarm because she woke us up at like 4 a.m. as she does a lot. But yes, yeah, so that was our week. It was really, really nice. Um, and I was starting on Duolingo, finally added finish. So I was working on that as well. Then I think this is like my last summer set. This is um, this really cute beachy one from SBC, which with art by Darcy, and I love it like a goth summer. And I just paired that with hollow and these hollow shells from Sadie Stickers. Just looks amazing. And let's have a look. I did some listings, so I had some shop stuff happening. I put it really here with a side eye, so I guess I was mad at something. Like, really? <laughs> and then we're still watching New Girl, and we started playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Ugh, I can't wait until the next section of it. It was so good. Um, my key, One of my key lights got delivered. These are the lights that I use while filming. So I got the first one this time, and it was really, I love them. They show hollow so well, don't they? <laughs> and then Steph and Mark got married this day. They were supposed to get married this day, like, proper wedding. But because of COVID, they had to push that back. And now COVID is still continuing in Australia, so they've cancelled their January wedding. But at least they actually did get married, and that's what's important. So I've put, course, marked that in there. So my feelings apparently, but yeah, so that was this week. Not much happened, but I got some custom stuff done, which was good. Then this was a big week. Uh, I mentioned this in my 2020 planner faves um, with my favorite planner moment, but I used the Lucifer set that I drew, and this one's from SPC because the show season 5A came on Netflix. And on that same day, my, I found out that morning that my PhD had passed without any um, revisions needed. So just straight up passed. And yeah, so that was a really big day. And then the next day, my toenail got ripped off. <laughs> my, my big toenail. It still hasn't really grown back. Um, <laughs> but at least it's kind of like the whole ordeal is over with. But yeah, so that was a pretty like crazy weekend. <laughs> Um, pretty high and then pretty low. <laughs> um, but what else? Well, we're playing Final Fantasy again. Toenails gone, super hot, cut pancakes to celebrate my PhD being passed. Lucifer came back, which we didn't, we watched like one episode on Sunday and then we didn't actually binge it until the next week because I had to get bandages and I didn't sleep much and yeah. Otherwise, pretty standard week. But I think this time was so cool. I used gold and silver, and um, I used like the bougie boxes came from the six year anniversary. So there's gold and silver in the bougie boxes, and it just turned out perfect. I love the way it turned out. Um, the next week, oh no, this is my last summer spread. Yes, <laughs> this is my Tarzan art that I did. And this is SBC's version, and I used minimal foil with this, just some gold foil. Use this really cool leopard print from SP um, from Sadie's stickers, and I think this turned out so pretty. I love the greens, and it's just really like lush and jungly, and just still having to change bandages and things. Um, oh yeah, and this is when we decided that we wanted to move to Helsinki because Lark had been um, interviewing for jobs in Helsinki and still doing that. 
So we're looking at apartments and we chose one that around here and then we were looking up moving quotes and it was very, it ended up being very expensive. <laughs> um, so that was fun, but it was worth moving. And so we looked up moving and apartment squared up. So we started packing and ordering packing stuff. And here's where we were actually watching Lucifer. So we watched, finished it on the Saturday after. Um, but yeah, that was the main thing of this week. Um, lots of job interviews and also deciding to move and getting an apartment in Helsinki. So that was really fun. And yeah, just turned out really pretty. All right, then September started and I am using, just one second, just restarted the recording. Just the 1st of September and I would... I held out for this kit to come in the mail because um, I thought this would be a perfect transition kit from summer to autumn. And this is my practical magical, practical magic art, which you saw me a few weeks ago, like a month or so ago, drawing because I watched it. Um, but yeah, this is from SBC again, and it turned out so beautiful. And I used gold foil, some stars and hearts, like because it's sort of magical and. Um, yeah, I think that turned out really, really pretty. So, more job interviews, lots of them. I had to do some PhD forms. And then, um, was it this week? I don't know, maybe it's the week after. Just anxiety for some reason. Hmm. Oh, because I like went to Helsinki to see the new apartment. And I was anxious the night before because I had been reading up on the area because I don't know the areas very well in Helsinki. And it didn't sound like the best place to be living, especially now in my 30s and I'm lame. <laughs> and I like my silence. Um, and I was really anxious about it. So then Luck went to Helsinki and saw it and, we, and it wasn't the right apartment it ended up being because we wanted two bedrooms, but they... What he didn't know is that they had knocked down the wall to the second bedroom. So it was only one bedroom. So like, you know what, that's not going to be the apartment. So that was a relief. And then they told us about a different apartment and that's where we are now. Whole complicated thing. But anyway, that day we chose the new apartment and that was awesome. So that was all figured out. But yeah, I had an anxious night about that apartment and I guess it was right going with my gut because it, it didn't end up being the apartment for us. Um, oh, and I watched Eurovision and Fire Saga for the first time. So, so good. Loved it. I love Eurovision so and Will Ferrell, so I loved the movie. And, yeah, what else? We're watching AP Bio because there was a new season up, and we started watching The Boys as well. But, yeah. That was really fun, just getting our new apartment sorted in Helsinki. And I think the spread turned out super cute. And now we're getting full on autumn. <laughs> um, this was Brave from SBC from the year prior. And I just kept it in my collection um, because it snowed early in all of the year before, um, which it didn't this year. So I, I didn't have, didn't get to use a few autumn kits from the previous year, so I brought them in here. I just used a ton of gold foil and a ton of like special foil from Sadie's stickers in here. But yeah, it's based on the movie Brave, which is alright, but I thought the kit was beautiful. So what happened this week? Been watching the boys, packing, more packing, <laughs> watching Dribble Jump. Oh, then Friday. I heard back from the Graduate Center about my PhD forms and they said, and this was like the end of Friday, they're like, oh, you owe us $1,300 um, in back pay from your scholarship uh, before you can graduate. And it's like, that, and I was facing like thousands of euros for moving. So I was like, dope, this is not good. And luckily I got scholarship got back to me on the Monday. So I only had to like freak out for the whole weekend that it was actually a mistake. Um, I never owed that money. It was all sorted out from when it actually happened. Anyway, just the graduate center giving, my, giving me the last kick in my butt because they're like the worst. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just had that there. Then we booked train travel and everything to Helsinki. 
I picked up my Irish passport from the post office this day because now I'm an Irish citizen. Um, we started watching the Umbrella Academy. That was really good. Looking forward to more of that. But yeah, so the graduate center was the big annoying thing here. And then I used pumpkin patch also from the year before. I think, oh, this looks so beautiful looking back on it now, like these pinks and purples. So beautiful. Um, I love that. Uh, with this now we're cleaning. Um, conferral fix, as I said here, so now like the degree was officially put through. Oh, yeah, and then um, Lumo, who we rent through. So we rent our new apartment and we rented our old apartment through them. But they had some people visit our old apartment to rent it. So we took Heidi to the park, which was hilarious. We had her in a cat carrier. Um, like a, We have like a soft one um, for like going on a plane or whatever. So we took her to the park just like to get out of the house so they could see the apartment. <laughs> And um, so that was fun. She got to have a look around and sniff outside. <laughs> um, and luckily that was that day. It was super sunny and bright and warm. And then the next day there was a huge storm. So luckily it was Tuesday and not Wednesday. <laughs> but we were super tired from that day. Um, so we went to sleep early. What else? Um, oh, we watched a barbecue showdown. Like the great barbecue show, American barbecue showdown on Netflix. It's like the ver barbecue version of like the Great British Bake Off. And it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. So if you haven't watched it yet, you should go check it out. And then my US was super crazy over September. Just everything was wrong for them. <laughs> so just mark that in there. It got fixed in the end. Um, so after the barbecue showdown, we watched the trip to Greece because we hadn't seen it for a while. And I loved the trip movies and TV shows, so I loved that. Huge fan of um, Steve Coogan. And then there was ooh drama and over everything, so there was drama that night, I guess. <laughs> I always insert myself into drama because I stand up for my friends, damn it. But yeah, I think this turned out really cute. Again, I put in some city stickers, like pumpkins and stuff to go with it. And then this week was a bit weird because I didn't use bougie because I didn't really have bougie that went with this bonfire foil bundle from SBC. But this was the July mystery from SBC, one of my favorites. I just love how witchy and dark it is. And like the oranges and reds just really pop for me. And this bonfire foil with it is just life. Um, but I did wish I had bougie underneath, but obviously the new foil bundles have bougie included, so in the future this won't be a problem. Um, but yeah, my PhD was officially conferred on the 21st of September and I was officially a doctor, <laughs> Dr. Jess. Um, I did some online errands, we changed our address, just doing a little bits and pieces before we moved on the 1st of October. Um... Yeah, what, listening to the po only podcast I've ever listened to really is Podiots, which is just a silly, po like a comedy podcast, I guess. Baked chocolate chip cookies. Had Dams go off for like the, one of the last times because it's our, like our favorite place in Olu. Dams go, it's like Syrian food. Delicious. But yeah, this is just the end of um, uh, our time in Olu. So this week I used a Boo, another exclusive from SBC that I drew, and this is the week that we moved on the first. So I do actually have like a little day extender, which I never use, <laughs> but definitely this day needed a day extender. Um, I just think it turned out so fun. I got like all these like bats and spider webs from um, Sadie Stickers. I just like adding like buying one or two sheets of her holiday themed foil to really add it in. Um, but now that was really, like, really crisp, nice like autumn weather in both Olu and Helsinki, so it was great. So we did some last cleaning and packing, and then moving day, and okay, so moving in Australia, it's usually like two guys show up, one drives a truck, and one's like um, 
puts the stuff in the truck and it takes them hours. Four guys turned up um, to help us move and they got the truck packed up in an hour with literally all our stuff because we were both traveling like train and plane. So we couldn't take much with us. Um, I took a five hour train ride, played some Animal Crossing, and then there was like five different dudes unloading in Helsinki. <laughs> Um, we thought we were going to have to, um, them to un unload on Friday morning because, you know, it takes hours from one side of the country to the other, but they really like hightailed it down to Helsinki so they could unload about 5, 6 p.m. that night, even though they came at like 8 a.m. So we got unloaded, we went to, um, the Alibut, like the grocery store next door, and also to the pet store to get Heidi a litter box. Um, I should say I took the train because I had Heidi with me. <laughs> um, and then we got the litter box and set her up and then we'd already booked a hotel night because in a nearby hotel because we thought they'd be unloading the next day. So we decided still to take that hotel night and Heidi stayed in the apartment. And um, yeah, it was really good. Really nice to have like, I slept so much that night. <laughs> and then we had breakfast at the hotel because it was included. We came back, we had no electricity all until 3 a.m. on Sunday because um, we hadn't sorted out our electricity property pro properly. So yeah, that was fun. Uh, but we listened to a lot of party hits. We caught up with that. And also My Brother, My Brother and Me. So that's the other podcast I've listened to. But I don't listen to them a lot. Um, then we tried out some new restaurants like Fafa's and Fish and Ranit to um, Fish and Chips, which was really good. And a new Indian place, which is our still uh, favorite Indian place. And then we went and bought a coffee maker this day, just getting settled. And we unpacked pretty much everything. So, yeah, that was a moving week. And I thought this would be perfect just because it has, like, the fireplace and the seating area and the door. I just thought that would be cute for moving but Halloween. So then we have one of my favorite... I think this, I said this was my favorite spread of the year in my 2020 memory so I won't go too much into it but this yeah dead inside from SPC um, with the simply gilded aurora bows and which I I drew this art exclusively um so what happened this week we're still just settling in we tried a few more restaurants which are really good I watched my first Halloween film which was Ernest Scared Stupid which I loved the uh, I love the Ernest films I'll be honest I just love Ernest, he's so nice. Um, and then it was Bennett's birthday, Andrea's first son, so I put his little birthday in there. And we're watching a lot of Phasmophobia streams, people playing that game, that was really good. But I don't think that much else happened, but I used the Hollow and Lavender Hollow mixed metal to put together. That was really fun. With these letters to Apollo um, overlays, which were cool. So then this is the week of my birthday, which was October 16th, and I turned 32, which is what? <laughs> and I used a mixture of champagne lights and gold foil. And this is Boo from, um, this is Boo Day from SBC, which is my, the art that I did for my shop, which was Halloween birthday, you know, just specifically for my birthday. <laughs> uh, but lots of other Halloween birthday girls out there. So, yeah, what happened? What, I think the new boys came out, so we watched the boys. We caught up with season two. Watched that new movie, Hubie Halloween, with Adam Sandler. I haven't watched an Adam Sandler uh, movie in a long time, but I really, really loved Hubie Halloween. I thought it was so cute. Watched Sleepy Hollow. And then the day before my birthday, we went out shopping um, to Farm and Campy, which are like, big mall, shopping center malls in the city center, has Starbucks run, I got a pumpkin spice, ice pumpkin spice latte, and some new headphones for my birthday, and a delivery of a gift basket and flowers from my mum, and we did some more tacos on my birthday, uh, oh, and then The Haunting of Bly Manor came out, so we watched that, and that was really good, I loved it, just like the sad, like, hmm, kind of ghost because it was more sad than scary which I'm happy about it was gothic terror rather than horror 
which I am definitely a fan of. I actually did a course on Gothic literature where we read um, The Turn of the Screw in university, so loved that. But yeah, that was this week, and I thought it turned out so pretty for my birthday. And then the week before Halloween, I used that Hocus Pocus set that I talked about we drew. <laughs> and this one, I um, put mixed metal, silver, and copper. So it turned out so amazing. Um, so what happened this week? Cooked some curry, watched Hotel Transylvania and Dracula. So still going on in my Halloween movies. I watched a fair bit this year. It's three years of my shop, Kindish Girl, on, 20, on the 21st, which is nuts. And then um, Supernatural was finishing, so we decided to start binge-watching the last season to catch up so we could watch it as it came out. We also watched Psych 2, Lassie Come Home, which I love Psych, and that was such a good movie. This is a long video, so I apologize. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, I also watched Casper and It Chapter 2. It Chapter 2 was meh. I didn't care for it, really, at all. Uh, but that was that week. And then Halloween week, I used this... Um, I can't remember what it was called. Anyway, <laughs> this is a kid that I drew for my shop, and it was more like a vintage at-home kind of Halloween feels. And um, use gold foil and just a bunch of different ones like these sprinkles and these um, web star spider webs stars and this autumn bottom washi from Caress Press. And I use this paper shire um, half box to put in Happy Halloween. I thought that looked really good. Um, also, I went on a autumn walk <laughs> through the leaves and everything um, to City Market which is nearby like bigger grocery store and that was really fun to go and look at that shop I had that little walk and um, I got Pietro for my island for Animal Crossing and we got uh, we went to Little as well and we got spooky they had like um, Halloween shaped chicken nugs <laughs> nug um, nuggets so I had some spooky nugs. Uh, we watched the Scooby Natural um, episode of Supernatural where they crossed over with Scooby Doo and watched the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I finally finished my rewatch of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend final season and it was so good and then on the 30th I got delivery of Eternity Roses from Andrea for my birthday. They were so beautiful, still so beautiful, and still so beautifully smelly. <laughs> I love them. And like these black roses that last a year. And I watched The Adams Family 2 on Halloween. So, so good. And then watched it once um, Supernatural. Yeah. I think that week turned out super fun. And then I didn't, I was going to go into winter, but it was still autumn. It hasn't actually slowed until now in January. <laughs> So I used another um, autumn kit. This one's from Caress Press. I used rose gold, which I never really do. Just turned out so pretty and just worked all together. Um, so watching Great British Bake Off at this point. Um, we had a big British food delivery for Christmas food. Then it was a US election. <laughs> and that went on for all week, didn't it? It's still going on. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> uh, what else happened? More Supernatural. That was that second to last episode there, which I had to put Dean and Kaz in. No spoilers. Um, got some bubble tea for the first time. I try not to use my laptop at all on Saturday, which was good because stuff was happening. I was emotional AF. <laughs> So I just need to break away from my computer. But I did have a meteor shower this day in Animal Crossing, which is fun. I'd never had one before. But yeah, I think this turned out pretty cute. And so, yeah, prologuing to, to winter and Christmas, I used this another kit from Crest Press, this beautiful um, fortune teller one. <clears throat> I used gold foil and, like, celestials and stars and moons. So pretty. 
Anything big have happened here. I was decorating my Animal Crossing Island for Christmas. I paid off my taxes for 2019 because I had to back pay them. Oh no, there's a sticker stuck here. Take that off. Oh no, I don't know if it's going to come off cleanly. There we go. It's fine. Um, I've marked an insomnia, but I've been having insomnia for like forever now. <laughs> Um, I made myself a little bubble tea shop in my island, just playing a lot of Animal Crossing this week. And then I signed up for Disney Plus. Um, we got some Supernatural going on. Tried a different bubble tea place, but I think more tea was the better one we liked. And then because I got Disney Plus, I watched some Disney movies, so Tangled, Zootopia, and Fantasia. But yeah, and I just, kid is just really, really pretty. And then we started into winter before going into Christmas. This was the October 2019 mystery. I used sparkly color and I just thought it was really pretty from SPC. This was the finale of um, Supernatural. So sad that it's finished. But I was happy with the ending, to be honest. I feel like it could have been filmed better, but because of COVID filming, they couldn't really do everything they wanted. But I enjoyed the overall ending, you know what I mean? So my mother-in-law's birthday on Monday, some new clouds were released, I watched The Rescuers, I love The Rescuers so much. I was balloon grinding for the Christmas um, uh, things in Animal Crossing, like DIYs, and there was a little bit of snow on this day. But yeah, otherwise not much happening. <laughs> Then we get into my Christmas spreads. The first one I did was Mary, which was um, a kit from a set from my shop, and it's SBC. And I used a mix of gold and also this like light purple satiny foil bundle from SBC. And you once again pulled in some Sadie stickers stuff, so it has more bubble tea. That was really good, and. We tried Helsinki Burger Co. a few times. That were really good. Listen to some Christmas music. I watched Alice in Wonderland. It was Turkey Day, so this was um, Thanksgiving week. So Black Friday was... Um, I avoided most Black Friday because I found it really intimidating this year. This year, it was just... There was so much going on, so I didn't do too much shopping. Just for my usuals. I watched the movie Freaky Friday. That was good. Um, but did some cooking. Oh yes, we did a big proper Black Friday order of a washing machine, which is getting delivered in two weeks. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, but we saved a lot of money on it, so I loved that. Can't wait to get a washing machine. But yeah, this is the start of Christmas, and I think it started off really well. Then we have, this one was called Christmas from SPC, and again, I used gold and silver, um, Mixed metal, and I thought it turned out so pretty and clean and traditionally Christmas. I tried to like do non traditional, traditional, non traditional, traditional kind of thing. <laughs> so it's kind of spaced out in my planner. Um, but this is an exclusive I drew for SBC again. And what happened this week? Oh, yeah. Um, I used Mary to mark that Jingle Jam at Yogg's Cast was starting, so they stream every day. All day long of like fun gaming stuff. So that started this week. That was so good. We got a new litter box for Heidi because she needs a big litter box. <laughs> because she's a big girl. I should have marked here that it started snowing. Oh my gosh, I forgot again to mark it. So I'm going to put it in now. These were just like, they didn't really stay on the ground. These snows, not until now. So... Then at Animal Crossing, I did a villager hunt, and I found Judy, who is like a dreamy, like an all-time S-tier villager. So I got Judy, and just watching more Jingle Jam. Those turned so pretty. So here we got another non-traditional. This is the Morning Magic Disney one that I did for SPC. It was Kirsten's birthday this day. I didn't put in Nick's birthday. I can't remember when it's supposed to be. Sorry, Nick. Rip. <laughs> His birthday's around here somewhere. Um, 
But yeah, just lots of silver foil, and I brought in some Mickey stuff from Caress Press, and these like candy canes from Simply Watercolor Co. So it was so good. Tried Kimchi Garden, which is probably the best Korean food here. Still some more Jingle Jam. We got some Christmas bread. It was so good. Triple Jump was playing Little Hope. Ugh, so fun. I loved that. Um, and then Planmas started on the Sunday, so I had videos for 12 straight days, and I watched Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and Howl's Moving Castle. Loved that. Then the week before Christmas, I used um, Carol. This is the SBC version, and this was my Christmas Carol art. And I thought I'd use it the week before Christmas because it's kind of like Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve week. <laughs> if that makes sense, I use a lot of gold foil and champagne lights as well to give sort of that sparkly magic effect. And I watched Elf and Arthur Christmas. Did I watch any other Christmas movies? The Holiday. Those were good. And then Friday we did our big day out in Helsinki. We went to Games Workshop, a bookstore, Starbucks, got a book, uh, board game. We ate out for the first time in ages at Friends and Burgers. And we came home and watched a stream. So that was really good. Gaming stream. And um, I think Jingle Jam ended around this time. Yeah. But yeah, that was really, really good fun at Christmassy time and out and about in Helsinki. And then we have Christmas week which I used Joy from SBC which is my art for my shop and it's just so Christmassy. <laughs> I love it. I use gold foil and I use like Simply Gilded. Um, well, Simply Gilded. I used uh, Simply Watercolor Co. Candy Canes and Sadie Stickers sweater patterns. And I put this Believe in Magic. It's a Christmas. Um, it's a Disney quote, but I thought believe in magic of like Christmas season. That thought that'd be cute. And use a lot of Christmas stickers. And I got a deli gift delivery from my mom, like a gift box. And then I got cookie delivery from Andrea. So I was very spoiled this Christmas. I watched The Man Who Invented Christmas, and also I watched Home Alone. <laughs> um. Yeah, man, I miss those cookies. They were so good. We started playing World of Warcraft again. That was so good. And there was Toy Day on Christmas Eve on Animal Crossing. And I made waffles. And we had a really delicious steak dinner for Christmas. Just playing lots of Warcraft as well. And Luck wasn't feeling well on the Sunday, but they got, they got better, which was good. Yeah, that was a beautiful Christmas week. One of my favorite Christmas weeks, if not my favorite of all time. Usually they just don't work out, these spreads, because you put so much thought and, like, you, they have to be perfect, so they never end up being, but it did turn out perfect. And then the last spread, I did do the first week of January in here just to finish out the year. Um, but this is... Better Year from SBC with art by um, Alita, Artsy Alita, Alita Design. Love, love, love her artwork. Melissa's the best. Melissa and Darcy, I love them. <laughs> um, and this was an actual proper pre-plan, so I pre-planned this whole week, um, which there was a video on, and it was really just so I could fin finish in this spread. But yeah, this week I did actually get a lot of this stuff done. We moved the boxes and got milk tea as a reward this day. And I did get art stuff done and started reading more of the rings. But we're also playing a lot of World of Warcraft. Um, but yeah, so that is the end of this flip through. I'm sorry it's so long. Um, I will have a video up soon of just a quick flip through through music of my whole 2020. But otherwise, I hope you liked it. Um... Let me know if you there's any spreads that really caught your eye. I'd love to know. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week and a wonderful 2021. 2021, yes. And I'll see you next time. Bye.